Ay, ay, ay. Let down the beat. Chikon ni kunzuna, ona na voko ya dula, shonongo na e atuna, alila ni kula, ni kula, ni kula, ni kula. You guys, my guys, my G's, my people, we are back again. Another premiere, another day. Yes. So mm-hmm. let's get right into what Ooh. I know you've all been waiting for. All yes. the core competitions yeah. we're still going tonight. So we are obviously gonna play a game. Yeah. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be crazy. <laughs> the okay. game is called It's in the Mind. It's in your mind. What is it it's called? All in the mind. It's all in the mind. And so what we're going to do is we're gonna have activators four activators yeah. in their different cores come up they're going to be blindfolded they'll have seven yeah. items on a table yeah. and then they're going to feel the items okay. and call out uh-huh. shout state yes. what uh-huh. the item is okay. all right i think you guys get it you get just the gist uh-huh. as we are going on today we're starting it a bit different so core 18 paris yeah. we need you to come right now yeah. mr leon come up with our thing Ladies first. Okay, Paris. Okay. So in front of you there's a table and you have 40 seconds. I forgot to say 40 seconds on the clock for each person, okay? So Paris in three, two. One, just right below you go. Start of touch. Yes. Ready! Ready! Ready. Ready. Come on. This feels like flat. Yes, what kind? What kind? Maze flat. 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 Maze Yes. This feels like a chalk. Yes. yes. Eight, Nine, eight, seven, six, six uh, five, 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 four, three, three, uh, three, 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 three. <laughs> She got it. She got it. Guys, we forgot a very important part. But Terry's great job. You got all seven. If you get one to five, you get creamed in the face. Okay. If you get six, uh-huh. you get to pop another cause balloon. Okay. And if, uh-huh. like Paris, you get seven, you get a green balloon. Uh-huh. If you guys forgot, a green balloon is 20 points. Four balloons put together is what a green balloon gives okay. you. So Paris, you win a green balloon. Thank you very much. You can move on. Uh-huh. Elvis, come on in. Quarantine. This is your time to shine. All right, all right. Go Elvis. Go Elvis. In three, two, one, go. Let's go, Elvis. Go, Miss Pla. Miss Pla. Ah, spaghetti. Cook spaghetti. Ah, step up. Elvis. Elvis. Crayons. French beans. Handkerchief or cloth. Uh, Button. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, guys, I am back. And I seem to be making quite a substantial amount of mistakes today. Paris missed one integral item. That was a button. So Paris will have to come back later and pop someone's balloon. She got six correct and she missed one. But Elvis got all seven. He What did he got two wrong? Elvis, if you got two wrong, that means you got five. So Tequila, you know what? You know the vibes. You know the vibes, guys. Hey, 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 Do it. Thank you, everybody. 
service you can leave. We need the core 20s next. Tequila, what do you think about this game? The core 20s. The core this 20s. game, mm -hmm. eh, this game is a I don't know what's happening to me because um, ah, say more. You know, I've been I making got, some I got mistakes. You. I got you. I'm right here. <laughs> but I have you a, know, very, it's an intense game. It's a very intense you game. You know, things happen. Jake is here. Hey, so Jake. without further ado, Jake in three, two, one, let's go. Let's go, Jake. Um, noodles. Okay. okay. Oh, spaghetti. Spaghetti. Sorry. Okay. Um, salt. <laughs> Um, <laughs> bandana, <laughs> stapler, um, what is this? Some, what is this? <laughs> French bean, I think. Um, crayon. Ay, 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 ay. I'm not I'm not feeling it. Oh, um, uh, platter. <laughs> Guys, Jake got three correct. Oh. Oh. <laughs> and you know what that means? Jahila, do the cream. <laughs> Alright guys, Leon, Jahila, we can clear up the table and we can move along, but where? Kumbe, this game is so hard. I did not know that without... Hey, Davis is coming up, call 17. This is your time. I know you guys already know the gist of this game, so... Let's go, let's go. Davis is in the building. He is coming through. All right, without further ado, Davis in three, two, one, go. Sugar. to see all these people oh, go down but it's kind of fun so if you think your call has just been creamed don't worry we have round two oh, okay. to redeem yourself so as we clear out this table and paris gets ready yeah. we are starting it once again seven more items yeah. guess the items let's go bring in paris bring in paris it's all in the mind it's all in the mind guys Call 18 in the comments down below. Shout out your activator. She got up. Wait, I want you all to remember. Paris actually got six, which means she's gonna pop the balloon in this round. Okay, so what? Paris in three, two, one, go. Lemon. Blueberry. Uh, oh, I can't smell. I can't smell. This feels like tomato sauce. Or ketchup. Tomato sauce or ketchup. Uh, this is a This is a car. This is a toy car. This is a coin. This is a safe a bobby pin. A safety pin uh, This is a sock. No, this is a meter. It feels like a glove. A glove. You have five seconds, but you've gone through all of them. So oh. you may blind and by blindfold yourself. I just don't get it. What did you say this was? Be honest. I said, what did they say? What did she say? The first one? She yeah, didn't say Vaseline. Vaseline. Yeah. She got yeah, ketchup, ketchup correct. She got lemon, lemon correct. I mean, she got the rest correct. Oh, thank God. Oh, the rest yeah. correct. But I remember she said, this is a coin. It's okay. But I it's a coin. We take it. Yeah. But it's a so, coin. Paris has gotten six oh. twice. Yeah. Paris. For 18. Tell us, two balloons you, you want to take out. Oh. 
Yes, yeah. one from the first round and one from this round. Okay. Uh, we are taking out core 19 hey. and core 20. Oh, no. oh, you guys. Okay. That's my core, guys. It's hard, it's hard. So, Elvis is coming in, core 19. Your rep is here. Blue band. Blue band. Okay. Um, this is. What's this? This is. Glove. Pin. Car. Small toy car. Bimu. Another pin, a shilling or a coin. Three, two, one. Elvis, unfortunately, see he missed this too. Blue band and CG watch ketchup. Does that mean Connectines are getting cream again? Yeah. The first time, the first time I got something, so only one thing. We go with the judges. We go to try. Bring him again. Bring him again. Wait. Now, Coach 20 is already in the building waiting as Leon clears up back here. Guys, Coach 20s, please rep us in the comments. We're fighting for our lives, man. Okay, Sawa, so we're here, Jake. Are you ready? In three, two, one, go. Um, lemon. Um, tomato sauce. Um, what's this? Ba baby food. Um, a glove. Um, toy car. Um, pin. Safety pin. Safety pin. A coin. You guys, he has five seconds left on this timer, and he got six. So that means, Co20, you get to choose a balloon to pop. You can remove your blindfold, choose the balloon, the core you would like to pop. Um. Co18. balanced as all things should be because 17 is already here leon i like the job you guys are doing my team is awesome my team is great so shout out to all of you you're both wearing yellow have you noticed leon and Timila are both Boy. wearing yellow Boy. Boy. Where, 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 where. so in three two one go wrong margarine no for all of you who didn't know that was vaseline so i know he fell somewhere between one and five so creamers come creamy 
So guys, that was an amazing round of games. It was so much fun. But Tehila, yeah. I know we have something new today. Yeah. We have something else okay. that we are gonna do. Yeah. We've gone from a very, very tough game. Yeah. Now we are gonna have you guys running around running? your houses. Oh, Helter yeah. Skelter. Helter. So in today's version of Helter Skelter, oh, we are gonna us. do this. Uh-huh. You need to go around mm -hmm. your house tell and us. find five things. Okay. Five things. Then take uh -huh. a picture of the five, five things. things. Then you send the five, five things, things uh -huh. to either our Instagram oh. or you can send them on WhatsApp to Semo. Okay. Remember it? Five, five things. things. <laughs> so the five things are a button, a button, a lemon, a lemon, a handkerchief, a handkerchief, a safety pin, a safety pin, vastly. You have one and a half minutes. Go! Sal, mucha, mucha, mucha sal De los que hablan con la L que hacen todo hasta el final Un creyente borico con bomba para fincar En medio de la tormenta gozando voy a brincar Yo, llamo a Selena, a Orlando y a Luca Tengo palabras que nunca caduca Al enemigo le tumbe la peluca Se queda freeze con la mano en la nuca <risa> Él sabe que esto es un asalto Suelta mi generación y apuesta en el asfalto La salvación con mi pana la comparto Tengo fuego espiritual en el aposento alto y bomba Que bendice, si detona El mundo atrás de quitarnos la corona muchos viven rápido la vida me daytona todavía hay tiempo razón porque traímos bombas para fincar y esto nadie no lo puede quitar no importa lo que pase vamos a gozar traemos el sazón y somos la sal porque traímos bombas para fincar y esto nadie no lo puede quitar no importa lo que pase vamos a gozar traemos el sazón y somos la sal Party will come to the party, gonna tell them. We like to party. Yeah. It's the Holy Ghost party. Yeah. Yeah. We like to party. Yeah. 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 We like to party. 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 We like to Papa J. Uncle Frank, number you. After having learning about burgers last week, mm -hmm. we decided. Ah, cut, cut, cut. Huh? Not we. See me now, eh? Man, let me just go to kitchen. I was in the room, Kwale. Ah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, see. like me, I know. Uh -huh. Take your burger. Having said that, run wild, live free. Ketchup. Samo. You guys will catch up later. <laughs> and by now, mm -hmm. you should know mm -hmm. this is your show for show. The lockdown top down show with your host, Uncle Frank and Papa J. Apple Sour. Ah, yeah, yeah. Apple no, Sour. Masana. Yeah, and this past week mm -hmm. at the base. At the base. We learned, and actually, I learned a thing or two about uh -huh. Nambi, Nambi. Maze, but that reminded me of my high school crush. What? High school? Who was a crush? Maze, who was one of them? I was a Rambo. Nambi, who was a daddy? I was a crush. Yeah, I was a minimalizer. In this situation, I was the crusher, uh -huh. and she was the crushy. What? I was a crush. I was a crush. I was a crush. I was a crush. I was a that's how I ended up being crushed. Maze, back our leo, today put a response. But to check me, I could just. And if you angle your email, like in watches, no, 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 at the, at the base. some real talk. Yes, that was real talk. That maze, dating too early is like going to uni and reading uni stuff, ukiwa preschool. 
Sasa imagine mm. ili ingia home. Yes sir. Mkuu wangu wa kupipi 1. Yes. Nimekuja na calculus. Calculus 1. Naomba baba acha acha na isomai. That's ata, like dating ali. I make sense too. True. I make sense. And then to at the base we broke off into our cause. Oh, yes. Guys got real. Mhm. Ili kwa poa. You don't want to miss this coming Wednesday. This coming Wednesday mm-hmm. we're talking about mental health. With who? None other that, than Semo. Yes, you don't want to miss that. Yeah, yeah. No man sana. Yes, you have to keep locked. Now kama kawa kama dawa yeah. you know as in 10 questions with none other than Hey, hey, hey. this is Gideon the best. Yeah. In designers from top to bottom. CK CK top polo pants and Nike shoes. Yeah. He is a core 20. He is skilled at football and his favorite movie is Captain America the First Avenger. Correct. Yeah. Cool. You are ready for the 10 questions? Yeah, let's go. You have the world's largest pile of masking tape and rice. Yeah. What would you do with them? I would tape the rice all together and then use it as a football. Okay, cool. Yeah. Yeah. If you are a bachelor, yeah. what's the one snack that you will have in your house? Um, pizza. Wow. Yeah, pizza. Yeah. You are a bougie ba- mm-hmm. bachelor. <laughs> yeah. If the world was to hear one song Which song will that be? I think it would be Lacre Tell the World. Otaki ma odi pale pia ma odi pia sisi. I mean it's the whole world so mm-hmm. you you include also other people for people from other cultures. Mm-hmm. So you think like a song that would impact everyone. Okay. Yeah. yeah. What are you most skilled at? Nini ni umeiva? Nini ni umeiva kufanya? I think writing. Writing. Yeah, writing. Okay. Yeah. Unaingia kwa mall? Yeah. Where is the first place that utaenda? Out in Nairobi Sports House. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Xbox or PlayStation? PlayStation. Yeah. PlayStation. Okay. There is a fight. Kuna yeah. fight between a giant mosquito, yeah. mbu, and a giant safari ant. Yeah. Who would win this fight? I think it would be the mosquito because it can it can fly. Mm-hmm. Like you know it has a big advantage. Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah. What's your favorite app? Instagram. Okay. Instagram, yeah. Chicken, fish or beef? Chicken. Chicken. Yeah, chicken. Yaani utaki kula tu nyama ya ng'ombe. Ah, na ni nyama, ni nyama. Okay. Yeah. Sawa sawa. Who's the one clubber that would give a shout out to? Moses. Moses. Yeah, Moses, Moses. Okay. Yeah. And that's Gideon for you. Yeah. Say this after. All right. Run wild. Run wild. Live free. Live free. Catch up. Catch up. Cool stuff. All right. Hi guys, um, so we just reviewed the game a little bit and there was a technical hitch with uh, Elvis's play. He had six correct items instead of five and he was claimed for the wrong reason. So um, he gets to pop someone's balloon and Izo is coming to pop for 18th balloon. So I hope you're enjoying your night. Uh, big up to all the uh, big up to the presenters of today. Uh, we had we had Uncle V and Papa J come and just throw it down and they did such a good job. So um it's about that time where we get to win hearts and stuff. So we are playing for one heart. Two hearts have already gone and we want to find the club who is going to win one of these. Two. So the real OG is looking out for the co- in the comment section. So be ready to see who takes it first. He's ready to see who takes it first, yes? So the question is during our Zoom call at the base this past Wednesday what's the scripture from Songs of Solomon that Izo and AG shared with you? Comment in the section tell us what do you think? So um we're moving on to the session and yes we have an awesome student coming up <laughs> to bring the word and I just want us to pray for her as she comes. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you for this evening. Thank you for this moment that you're about to have in sharing in your word. We pray that Lord you would speak to us by your Holy Spirit that you would use this word to help us to transform us, help us to see really that real love that you offer us and that real love that we're supposed to give to others. We pray that Lord you would be with each one of the clubbers who are watching that yeah. Lord you just just help them to grasp and to understand the the word that's about to be shared today. Yeah. We thank you and we exalt your name in Jesus name we pray and believe. Amen. 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 Let's go. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
What's up, guys? <laughs> hey, everybody. Thank you so much, Naomi, for that awesome prayer. It is good to be here again. And I am so excited about continuing our topic, Love for Real. All right? Love for Real. Okay. Last Saturday, we talked all about how to love God with our heart, right? Keeping Him at the center of who we are. Tonight, we're talking all about the... Mind. Mind. All about the mind. So our foundational scripture is from Deuteronomy 6 verse 5. It says, love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your strength. All right? So last week, if you guys remember, we talked about a... Burger. Thank you. <laughs> we talked about a burger. We talked about lots of things, right? That's why you were confused. All right. All right. All right. All right. Last week, we talked about a burger, and we talked about the condiments being our expressions to God, the bun being our obedience to God, and the meat being our affection for God. Yeah. Remember that without the meat, the burger loses all of its appeal. So we emphasize that the heart is the place of affection. Okay, so if that's the heart, what is the mind? That is what we are here to get into tonight. So scripture interprets the mind as our reason, our intellect, our understanding, and even perhaps in its broadest sense, our outlook and our world view. Wow. Proverbs 23, verse seven. I'm getting right into scripture. It Come says, on. Come on. for as a man thinks in his heart, so is he. Time for a truth bomb, all right? We're going in deep. You ready? You cannot separate who you are from what you think. And if that's, if that's the truth, then we better Take, we better stop and really reflect on the things of the mind. So yeah. when we're commanded to love the Lord our God with all of our mind, what does that actually mean? Yeah. Yeah. Well, first, I want to give you some pretty amazing facts about the brain, mm -hmm. the place where all of our reasoning comes from. Yeah. You ready? Yeah. Yes. Okay, so fact number one. The human brain will grow three times its size in the first year of life. Okay, I'm thinking about Eli right now. By the way, Eli turns one on Thursday, okay? The human brain will grow three times its size in the first year of life and will continue to grow until about, get this, 18 years old. Wow. Right? <laughs> so I am already impressed with all of our clubbers out there who are like excelling at their exams because you're doing it with like half a brain. You know what I'm saying? Okay, fact number two. Just kidding, by the way. Fact number two, the average person has about 12,000 to 60,000 thoughts per day. Now guys, get this. Of those, 95%, even men, of those, 95% are exactly the same repetitive thoughts as the day before. I don't know about you, but that, I don't know. Yeah, that just, that doesn't sit right. I mean, basically it's brushing your teeth, getting dressed, going out for the day. Fact number three, when you're awake, your brain generates about 12 to 25 watts of electricity, which is enough to power a small light bulb. So if you think about it, if all of us were to connect our brains right now, that we could basically light up the room. Okay, number four, your brain storage capacity is virtually unlimited. Your brain doesn't get used up like the data storage in your computer or your smartphone. Basically, the brain is a beast, okay? And then fact number five, this is my favorite, in fact, this is why I came, all right? This is the content that I'm here for. Naps improve your brain's day-to-day -day performance. Yeah, we knew it all along. We just needed scientists to come confirm what we already believe is true. All right, so that's the brain. The brain and what comes in and out of it is incredibly powerful. But guess what? We have full control over this amazing thing called the brain. Yes. The Bible is packed with verses about our mind and it shows us that we have complete authority over what we're thinking about. Let's take just one example from 2 Corinthians 10, 5. It says, we can demolish every deceptive fantasy that opposes God and we can break through every arrogant attitude that is raised up in defiance of the true knowledge of God. We capture like prisoners of war every thought and insist that it bow in obedience to the anointed one. We've got to learn to take our thoughts captive before our thoughts take us 
captive. Yeah. And to be honest, that's where most of us are, right? Yeah. We've been taken captive by every fantasy and every attitude and yeah. every opinion that the world is throwing at us. What 2 Corinthians 10, 5 says is that within us, there are always two sides. There is the conqueror and there is the captive. Mm -hmm. But we trip up because who's meant to be the conqueror ends up being the captive mm -hmm. and who's meant to be the captive ends up being the conqueror. Wow. Clevers, you have the strength inside you to wreak havoc on every thought that's not from God. Yeah. His power at work in you is what will help you conquer every thought that isn't centered on him. Thoughts of fear, thoughts of low self-esteem, thoughts of anxiety, thoughts of lust, thoughts of perversion, doubt. You know, what we can break once, we can master. That means that I, if I can conquer something one time, it will give me the confidence to know I can do it again and do it again yeah. and do it again yeah. until I see it defeated. Right. Now listen, I need to clarify something. You don't have the ability to control what comes to your mind, but you do have the ability to control if it stays there, oh. right? Yeah. And this is so true. We don't have the power over what pops into our heads, but what we dwell on is totally our decision. Oh. Loving God with all of our minds is a real war that we are in every single day. So can we talk about the science of the brain for just a moment? Yeah. Elvis, I'm getting yeah. into science here. Please be impressed. Okay, so I want you guys to picture this. Let's say that you guys go out to Shags, right? I don't know how many of you in here love Shags. I don't know how many in here love tea from Shags. I don't know, guys. That metal cup, that metal cup, it slaps. Okay, so. Let's say you guys have gone out to Shags and you're trying to like cut through a field or you're trying to cut through the Shamba, okay? Mm -hmm. yeah. What you have to do is you have to create a path, right? Yeah. Which means yeah. you have to walk over the grass, right? One step at a time until a path is created. Mm -hmm. Now let's say you're in Shags for like a week, all right? And let's say you take that same path 10 times, Hey, 10 dimes. Hey, don't, don't judge me. I am married to a Kikuyo. Okay. Hey. Um, hey. <laughs> Let's say you use that path 10 times a day, right? What's going to happen is that path is going to end up being a lot more worn and a lot more visible and a lot more accessible, right? So this is what happens in the brain. We have something called neural pathways in the brain, and this is basically how it works. The more often we think a thought, the easier it is to think that thought again. Because see, what happens is... Every time we think a thought, and I'm going to use this as an example, it creates a path in the brain. Okay? So let's say whatever you're thinking about becomes this new path. See, the more you think about it, is this easy to see? The more you think about it, the deeper that path becomes. The clearer that path becomes the more accessible that path becomes, all right? And so the more I think thoughts, the more that pathway is created in my brain. Yeah. And this is incredibly important because after a while, see the deeper that path goes, the deeper it goes, can be a dangerous thing because you could end up in a rut. And now everything you think is coming from that one thought. Yeah. And it's what shapes our outlook on life. It's yeah. what shapes our worldview. Yeah. And this is particularly dangerous when it comes to lies. The longer you think on a lie, the more that you begin to believe that lie is true. Mm -hmm. So we believe lies by thinking on them and reflecting on them and meditating on them. Lies like, I'm not beautiful, right? And this is real right now, because yeah. if you go on Instagram and you press the search button, you start seeing all these beautiful females with beautiful, with beautiful bodies. Most of them are filtered and airbrushed, by the way. But the truth is we constantly compare ourselves and we feel like we aren't beautiful. That is the constant thought running in our mind. 10, 20, 30 times a day, yeah. I'm not beautiful. I don't measure up. Yeah. I don't have the right body. I don't have the right hair. I don't have the right skin. And so this is a thought pattern that we create. And the more it's emphasized, the deeper that path becomes. Yeah. Or maybe it's something like, I don't know, you're on WhatsApp and you see all your friends went to hang out and they had 
the audacity to leave you out, right? You were not invited to their plot. And can we be real? This happens to all of us. And what does it create? It creates this thought that I don't belong anywhere. I'm not wanted anywhere. I'm not needed anywhere. And the more times that happens, right? The more impactful that thought becomes. Maybe you get your results back from your exams and it's not what you were hoping. And now the thought becomes, I won't succeed at anything. I won't be able to get into the campus I wanted and I won't be able to pursue the career I wanted. And I don't know what my future holds. And a lot of times these patterns can run so deep that that now is kind of what we react to when it comes to everything in life. It's our default. It becomes our default. But here is where there's hope. Scientists say, you can create new pathways. You can create thoughts that are based on what God says about you and what he thinks about you. In fact, you need to get into God's thoughts and make them your thoughts. You need to get into God's patterns and make them your patterns. It won't be automatic. It will take training. In terms of repetition, scientists say that it is estimated that it takes 10,000 repetitions to develop a new neural pathway. So that means for some of us, we've got work to do, but we can train our minds to love God and to love God for real. So how, how do we do that? We make his word a neural pathway and that is the path that we choose to take the most. So Isaiah 26, three to four says, people with their mindset on you, you keep completely whole, steady on their feet because they keep at it and don't quit. So let's talk about three areas that we can love God with all of our minds as we create these new pathways. Number one, our conviction. Second Corinthians 11, three says, but now I'm afraid that just as Eve was deceived by the serpent's clever lies, your thoughts may be corrupted and you may lose your single hearted devotion and pure love for Christ. Guys, we are living in a more confusing time than we ever had before. There is so much drama. There are so many uprisings, so many causes, so many arguments, so many perspectives, so many clever lies. And we have to constantly ask ourselves, what am I using to reason all of this stuff out? You know, a lot of times we reason and we make our conclusions based on what our friends think or based on the comment section or based on the sense that something seems to make. To quote my husband, To quote the man of God, all right? There's a time that he said, just because someone wins an argument doesn't make them right. And just because someone is louder, stronger, more aggressive, more determined, more informed than you, doesn't always mean they're right. So what should we be using to process all of these opinions and all of these options that are constantly bombarding us? Romans 12, 2 says, don't become so well adjusted to your culture that you fit into it without even thinking. Instead, fix your attention on God. You'll be changed from the inside out. Readily recognize what he wants from you and respond to it. Unlike the culture around you, always dragging you down to its level of immaturity. By the way, some of these current issues, all it is is immaturity. God brings the best out of you and he develops well-formed maturity in you. So what's the short-term solution? Put your phone down, turn the TV off, get off your laptop, fix your attention on God. Listen, clubbers, he will give you a vantage point that you didn't even know exists. And he will tell you secrets no one else around you knows. Pinpoint what God is saying to you. Write that down and believe it. What's a long-term solution? Unfollow some people, particularly those who the Bible says will take you captive Remember, we talked about being a captive earlier and it's all about the mind. There are people who are targeting your mind, targeting how you think, targeting what you believe. It says they want to take you captive with empty philosophies and high sounding nonsense. And why don't you try and follow some people who are promoting the right kind of message? Because, you know, they're hard to find, but they are out there. They actually exist on Instagram, on YouTube, on Twitter. Anybody on Twitter? Okay, so wrong crowd. (laughs) Find a handful of trusted (laughs) LinkedIn. Sorry, Bobby. Sorry, Veto. Sorry, Izo. Okay, find a handful of trusted people in your world that you can ask hard questions to. By the way, I highly recommend the activators because we ask each other hard questions all the time. All right? What we are convinced about 
will become our conviction. And what we are convicted about will guide our choices. And this is the second point, all right? This is the second point when it comes to areas that we can love God. The second thing is our choices. So we talked last week about how important it is to feel love for God. But what happens when I go through a season where I don't feel any love? I don't feel any affection or any excitement because it happens. See, where the heart fails, the mind chooses. Choosing to do the right thing, even when you don't feel like doing it, clubbers, that's maturity. That is a sign of maturity. You can keep your love for God intact even when you're struggling with your emotions. How? by doing what you know is right despite how you feel. David said in Psalms 13, but I have trusted in your mercy. My heart shall rejoice in your salvation. I will sing to the Lord because he's dealt bountifully with me. Do you know when David was writing Psalms 13, he was literally at the lowest point in his life. He didn't get God. He felt alone. He felt overlooked. He felt defeated. And yet he told himself, rejoice. He told himself, sing boy, sing. See, our obedience isn't pegged on our feelings. But if you're faithful, if you're steady, and if you're focused, clubbers, I promise, your feelings will always follow your obedience. So I'm gonna stop here and give a really quick story. I don't have a lot of time, but I'm gonna try, okay? So there was this time, we're going on a missions trip. We were going to Rwanda for about 10 full days, all right? And it was really exciting. We all packed our bags, we showed up at the bus, And we realized that for some strange reason, there had been a miscount and we had about three extra people than we were supposed to. So what did our leaders decide to do? They decided to take the smallest people in the team and stick them in the back of the bus, okay? So there were five seats at the back of the bus, but how many ended up in that seat? Eight. 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 I was among the eight, okay? (laughs) And let me tell you, because we were going on missions, you know, I was willing to do anything. I was like, Jesus, we are going to serve you. We are going to turn Rwanda upside down, right? And so I was all in. I mean, it was, by the way, did I mention it was a 24 hour bus ride? But we were going to serve Jesus. We were going to turn Rwanda upside down. So I was willing to do anything. Let me tell you, we did not sleep for 24 hours. We left around 9 p.m. We didn't sleep because literally the entire bus ride through, there was absolutely no way to do it. We were so cramped. So this is what happens. We get to Rwanda. We have an awesome trip. On the way back, right? On the way back to Nairobi, the eight of us got together. We got together a few hours before the bus left and we made a pact. And we're like, all right guys, this is what we're gonna do. We will not fall victim to that back seat again. (laughs) So we pack our bags, we rush to the bus, we get in and we find comfortable seats to sit in, right? So I sit down, I am looking forward to this 24 hour bus ride of sleep. That was my entire plan. So as everyone's getting in the bus, all of a sudden our pastor stands up, the one who was leading the trip and says, "Um, excuse me, I have a quick announcement to make. I hear there are people that are in the wrong seats. I would like everyone sitting to Nairobi the way you sat coming to Rwanda. You know that scripture that says when you put yourself at the head of the table, God will make sure you're last? Yeah, that was me. That was us. So what do we do? We humbly stand up, walk to the back of the bus, sit down. But let me tell you something. My attitude was, it was so bad. In fact, the eight of us didn't talk for about three good hours because we were all so upset at our authority. We obeyed. But see, our feelings hadn't fallen in line. But let me tell you something, God was in that bus because it was so funny. It was like at the exact same moment, we all looked at each other and we were like, you know what? We're gonna make the most of this. We're not gonna let the trip end on a bad note, on a negative note or a sour note. Let me tell you, we had more fun coming home than we had going there. And it's just a small example. It's nothing too serious, but a small example to show you that when you obey, even if it, Even if everything in you is standing up on the inside, when you obey, your feelings will follow. All right, the third thing, one of the ways we can train our mind to love God is our concentration. So 12,000 to 60,000 thoughts cross our minds each day. Clubbers is even one of those thoughts about Jesus. And when it comes to the other 59,999 thoughts you have, is the way you think about everything pleasing to Jesus. 
So you can have all kinds of thoughts about all kinds of things, and that's fine. As long as they're rooted in truth, yeah. honor, respect, wow. purity, yeah. wholesomeness, peace. That's from Philippians 4.8. Wow. So is God really who I'm loving in my convictions, through my choices, and with my concentration? Clubber Psalms 139.2 says, You know when I sit down and when I stand up. You understand my thoughts from far away. Jesus knows and understands the hidden you. Every single thought you think. And he wants to help you change the unhealthy paths that perhaps you've been creating. Yeah. All you need to do is determine to love him with all your mind and to love him for real. Let's pray. Thank you, Jesus. God, we just come before you. And Lord, like last Saturday when we prayed for the heart, Lord, today we pray for the mind. Lord, I just pray, oh God, that you would help us. Oh God, first of all, realize the power that you've given us over what it is we think. And I thank you, God, for every clubber that feels like I've been creating the wrong pathways and I've been thinking the wrong things. Lord, I pray that you would help us overcome that. And Lord, we would begin to create new pathways around your word, based in your word. Lord, I thank you, Jesus, that you're helping us give you each and in every part of us that Lord we're learning to train our mind when it comes to our convictions our choices Lord and our concentration so Lord keep impacting us God with these truths Lord even as we continue this series in Jesus name we pray amen, amen. clubbers we love you we will see you during our zoom call this Wednesday where Simo's going to be taking us through mental health Woo!